Hello and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market ultimately to help you make informed decisions whether you're buying or selling property down here. So thanks for joining me and today's topic is revolving around for sale by owners as I affectionately call them and we do in the industry FISBOs and I thought it'd be interesting to point out some advantages because let's face it many people think about selling it their, their themselves very few do but it's definitely comes up quite often so let's look at the advantages let's look at some disadvantages and as always we've created uh, some content below for you to read that's more in depth so you can take a look at that uh, when we finish the video. So a couple advantages. I mean, number one, the money. Let's face it. As a for sale by owner, you don't pay a commission if you can get the deal closed. So I know that that's a huge motivating factor and I'd feel the same way if I was you thinking about selling my home by owner. So the money, saving that commission. The second thing is you're in complete control of the transaction. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, you're not dealing with you know, the agent calling you to schedule showings. Once the property's sold, you're not having to deal with, um, you know, the inspections, a third party calling you, kind of, kind of dealing with that. So you do have complete control of the transaction as a for sale by owner. There's no agent involved, obviously. You know, and I, I think there's several disadvantages also, of course. Um, you know, your time. What's your time worth? Uh, how much time can you commit to marketing and, and creating the, the proper uh, marketing materials to get the property exposed to, to the right amount of buyers? You know, the second thing, and I think this is maybe the most critical factor, is the price. You know, price is so important in today's market. It's so competitive that if you underprice your home, I mean, that's I've seen that happen for sale by owners. If you underprice your home, you leave you know thousands of dollars on the table. And if you overprice your home, you risk you know, not even getting showings because people won't look at overpriced homes in today's market especially. And you know, the other thing is there's paperwork involved. There's disclosures that you may not be aware of that, that you have to have done, especially to protect yourself and avoid any lawsuits and that type of thing. And then the other thing that's interesting as a disadvantage is you know, the negotiation process. You know, We've been around a long time as an industry, and there's a good reason. You know, you put a buyer and a seller together in a very big transaction, buying a home or a condo property here, you get emotional. Buyers, sellers get emotional. When you have that, you know, middle person, it tends to diffuse a lot of the emotion, and you can get a deal done that way. So that would be a disadvantage, I would think. What's interesting, I did a little research. Uh, 9% of all the transactions that have taken place nationwide thus far in the U.S., I should say, have been uh, buy for sale by owners. So they are getting done. Uh, so there, there is an opportunity. I would advise you to be very, very, very careful. Do all your research up front. Know where you got to be positioned price-wise. Know what your marketing plan is. Have all the disclosures. Have the contracts ready. Be prepared and expect to sell your home. So if you ever need any questions answered about selling your property, whether you're going to try it by owner or not, I'm here for you. Uh, if you're looking to buy or sell, send me a text or an email or f give me a phone call if you want to talk about specifically uh, what your situation is. I'd love to be of service. And thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.